Howdy y'all, this is Miss Nicole from YAI, and today's video is going to be a follow-up video on my previous one, which was how to create a mashup monster montage type of character. And as you guys may or may not remember, I created a horse, cowboy, tiger hybrid, and today's video I'm going to be going over how to kind of sketch them out and do a rotoscope of them in Paint 3D. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and import my picture. So I went ahead and put my horse guy here on the canvas and I resized him so that way he would be easier to work with. Like I was saying, I think what we want to do today is just a simple like rotoscope style drawing. What that means is that we are just going to be outlining or tracing our original image. Since this is kind of a crazy Frankenstein creation, I feel like it would be pretty cool to kind of clean it up and go in. Since this is a crazy Frankenstein, since this is a crazy Frankenstein style creation, I think it would be pretty cool to go in and clean it up and make it look like something that was, uh, I guess, purposefully made. So we'll go over here to our brushes. And I'm just going to use a simple marker because that is kind of my favorite tool. But there are different ways and different brushes to use this. So I am just going to go ahead and get started with my marker. And I think the color that I want to choose is going to be one that won't blend in. So it'll have to be able to stand out on all these dark colors. But it also won't be too light so I can't see it. So I think this color is going to work out pretty well. I am going to zoom in and adjust the sizing so we can start doodling. Now that we have our drawing all outlined, I am going to go ahead and just start adding some color here. And unfortunately, Paint 3D doesn't necessarily have the most robust system whenever it comes to um, coloring in and layers and stuff like that. So we're just going to be mindful of the lines that we've already drawn and just try to get some good color in there. So as I draw this out, I'm trying to be as mindful as I can of the original image's colors. And that's one of the great things about kind of doing this rotoscope style is that you can use your eyedropper tool and you can copy over the colors and just try to adapt them as best as you can into your new drawing. I'm also going over and I've selected a new outline color that I think will actually work a little bit better for my entire drawing. And that's why I'm using this uh, dark brown now. And what I'm doing right now is I am adding some variation in these colors so that way my image doesn't look so flat. I'm also going over and adding some thinner lines to kind of try to mimic the actual hair texture. And this will help out again to make sure this image has more variation and looks a little bit more interesting. Alright, so I have actually finished the head of my horse drawing, horse guy man drawing, and <laughs> I think that I'm going to have to complete the rest of this off camera to make sure that this video isn't super long. I'll check back in with my progress in just a little bit and let's see what I can actually get done in that time. So that is just about all that I can do to get this tiger man cowboy horse drawing done. <laughs> Um, I still have a lot of work to do and I struggled a lot with these paws so again this uh, this drawing exercise is a great way to get used to things that you're not necessarily comfortable with drawing and also just to give you some quick inspo so I hope that this was a fun video and it showed you a good way to paint using paint 3d
Thank you all for watching.